Dear Scorpio, welcome to Saturated in Love, where we dive deep into the vibration of love. Thank you, Holy Spirit, on behalf of the Scorpio Collective. That's Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Hope all is blessed in you guys' worlds. Archetype of an individual you might be dealing with, if this resonates today. Someone from your past life as well as a mystic is in the picture. An artist. Someone famous. Eldest Scorpio. Okay. So you or they could have some kind of fame with you. Okay. Followers online. Somebody in the scene. An artist of sorts. An entertainer. We have a mystic here, someone from your past life, okay? So this just gives me vibes already that maybe you guys are not quote unquote well suited to one another on paper, okay? And I just say this because mystic and then artist, you know, so one is more esoteric, one is more concerned with secular things. Somebody's more spiritual, somebody's more worldly, but let's get more. <clears throat> Present energy surrounding you will take a glimpse at the recent past, what's coming in near future, as well as the final outcome. Scorpio, we have the Ace of Swords. So you could have started talking to somebody from a past life. Again, it may not seem like you guys are of the same world, okay? Uh, maybe like, you know, the whole men are from Mars, women is from, women are from Venus thing, okay? You, you got back in touch with somebody, but you're like, I don't even know if this is the same kind of person they were before. Nonetheless, you're curious about them. The fool is here. So you've begun talking to them again. Unbeknownst to you, they're probably perfectly paired with you. Six of swords, I'm sorry, six of wands, okay? So six of wands is there's equal passion and desire here. This is a sense of longing and belonging that you share. Could be dealing with Gemini's. Libras, Aquariuses, Aries, thus far, okay? In the recent past, a Sagittarius, a Leo could have also took your heart, okay? We have the Nine of Wands, but these are two people, again, who are coming together and they have some doubts. They have some insecurities pertaining this relationship or this pairing. They just don't know what's the T on the insecurity because Nine of Wands is when you kind of feel like you're trying too hard somebody peacock beware of great pride okay somebody is prideful the one who feels like there's fame surrounding them okay scorpio you could be dealing with somebody who's a little too big for their britches you kind of have to bring them back down to earth and make them realize that you guys are perfectly paired together okay somebody could have a big ego here at the top of your situation today, King of Wands, but you guys pretty much belong together. There's so much fire and desire here. I just do feel like somebody's hard to pin down, all right? In the near future, that's exactly what's going to happen. Somebody's going to try to pin the other down. Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, energy. Get this thing grounded. Get it um, to a place where you guys are maybe forming a more of a commitment, okay? So maybe you're seeing somebody now, but again, there's somebody who's just a little too famous for your liking, aka also they can have a lot of friends, a lot of attention and eyes on them elsewhere, okay? Let me get let me get some insight into who your person might be with these love oracle cards here, okay? What's the energy that dear Scorpio's person is in? Are they the one with the fame? Because I do feel like they are, okay? I feel like they have so much attention on them. Yes, fame and money per potentially. This person could be all about the spotlight. Gifts as well. This person could just be used to having all the attention on them, getting gifts New love is here for you, Scorpio, if you want it. As well as courting man and a brunette female, okay? So you guys could look like the people depicted in this read. Doesn't have to be. 
but I do feel as though, again, you're trying to see whether or not you should give a past life person a new love opportunity. But then again, you don't know if you guys are well suited to each other because they seem to have all eyes on them and they also might seem to be a little greedy for the spotlight, a little greedy for money, hard to kind of buckle this person down. But Nine of Pentacles, one of you will try, okay, to get somebody to settle down with you. Let's see. How you view yourself for a pentacles. You're the one who's holding on to this tried and true. This is a treasure trove of an individual. You don't want to let them go. You're willing to make it work, even though it seems like you guys have to deal with their ego or their pride a lot. Okay. How do they view you, Scorpio, the high priestess? They also know where the loving is good at. This is why they're with you. They know that you have more to offer them than the world that they're a part of. Okay. They come to you likely because you have empathic qualities. You are somebody's light in the darkness, essentially, with this high priestess here. They know that you're spiritually evolved as well. They're interested in that aspect of you. Your hope or your fear, Scorpio, we have the Empress. Many of you do want to be these people's wives, husbands, on a pedestal. You kind of want them to look no further, right? You're pretty much talking about look no further, you know? Scorpio, if you could say anything at all to these individuals... What would it be? Thank you, Holy Spirit. This is what Scorpio wants to say. As the empress to this person in their life who they want to kind of settle down with, Lord have mercy. <laughs> well, for one, you're invested or vested in their health and well-being. What else would you like to relay as I pick up the rest of the deck? Truth be told, I'm aware we're connected at the soul, okay? So even, again, if on paper it doesn't seem like you're quite a match for someone in your life, you guys might seem like you're not cut from the same cloth. You could be more spiritual. They could be more worldly. I took an opportunity to pick up another deck that fell on another day because I'm a mess, y'all. Okay. So just a moment. Okay. Oh, this Scorpio. <laughs> You're vested in their health and well-being. Truth be told, you're aware that you're connected at the soul. So you're willing to kind of wait for this person to wake up and see that you belong together. All right. Now, what would they like to say in turn? Thank you, Holy Spirit. If Scorpio's beloved could respond to this, <laughs> what would they say? I want you to prove your love for me. Ooh. Now, this is big ego. Okay, I see why the peacock came out earlier. This is big ego from your famous quote-unquote person, okay? They want you to prove your love for them, Scorpio, as if you aren't already loved. One more. <laughs> and I've never loved anyone as much as I love you. Well, that's promising, okay? So this person, before they settle down, before they get off their high horse they're definitely gonna want to see scorpio jump through a few hoops <laughs> just fyi what is the final outcome here we have the two of swords and you're gonna be left with that decision well do i need to jump through hoops for this emma effa probably not because i'm scorpio okay i they should see that i'm all they need okay well it's gonna be your decision to make okay thank you holy spirit what is scorpio gonna decide what are you guys gonna end up doing are you going to have to um, do a little more, put a little more effort in, even though I'm sure you have? It says, I like you. Someone likes you. Romance is blooming, fun, flirting, want to date. I mean, you're going to still see these people, it seems like, because you do like them a whole lot. Mirror, it says mirroring each other. Self-image reflects our wounds introspection you guys are also sent as a mirror to each other so even if you think they're prideful or full of ego dear scorpio that could be a trait that is in you that needs to be healed okay look girl with the snake it says empath and narcissist paradigm being charmed or used enable boundaries just be mindful that you guys are not 
getting involved with snakes here on the low low that somebody's not just trying to make you do the most uh and you know has no intention to stay all right but i don't feel like these individuals don't intend to stay they truly do love the supply that you bring them or give them they love the attention okay they love how they feel with you. They just want to make sure it's true before they go ahead and give up their whole ecosystem of support, right? Because some people we know, they just need friends with them at all times. Oh, dear Scorpio, how many people do you know like that? Where they just constantly need support or someone around them, letting them know how fly they are, how cool they are. They're like obsessed, you know? They're obsessed with their own image, it seems like there's an empath narcissist paradigm happening here. But again, it's your decision to make at the end to a swords, you know, because, yeah, these people do like yeah. you. And again, let's not shift blame here. You're not always innocent as you guys are seemingly mirroring one another. You could be dealing with a twin flame. Okay, but let's get where the arrows of love are pointing you. If you'd like to claim this message at any time, please give it a thumbs up. Lover in the night. Somebody that it could have been feeling like it's temporary with. Let's see in actuality what it shall be. Well, it's up in the air precisely because you have that decision to make. So you guys could extend this thing. It's just somebody needs to um, hand over the key already. All right. Their hearts are on lock still waiting for you to show and prove. You could be dealing with somebody who has a little bit of narcissist qualities in them. All right. But uh, it's up to you guys to revisit the past, checking out the old footage, revisit the past with these individuals, see how much they meant to you then, see what they mean to you now, see if you need to eject this tape out of your life for once and for all, or see if it's the real deal. Man, you guys are on a big decision, okay? I can't even let you know if it's going to be good for you or not because there's some such thing as free will. Okay, so what is your wild offering? Holy Spirit, what would you let Scorpio know as a hint while deciding whether or not to settle with somebody who seems like they got a big ego? What do they need to know? Thank you, Holy Spirit. Love. It says, it's not about finding love. You are love itself. Help me, Lord, to send so much compassion and caring to the inner child that I always remember. I myself am love. Let me tell you, because you are love is why you're being sought out. Again, there's somebody who needs your love out there, but it's your decision to decide whether or not to give it to them. Because Scorpio, this person is almost empty and they're going to need a lot of fuel from you. All right, Miss High Priestess or Mr. High Priestess. Okay, Empath Narcissist Power paradigm here. Somebody's wanting you to prove it, even though you are already love. Wow. This is deep. There should be an extended. There definitely should be a part two, but I'm going to let you guys reach out to me for your personal readings at the number four love.info and some more advice for you all while making this decision, whether or not to give more than you already have. Oh, this Scorpio is freedom. Your advice is freedom. It says there is nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want it to be. Look, many of you feel like, no, I gave enough. Others of you are like, damn, I know this twin flame journey <laughs> is only just begun, you know? So what'll, what'll it be, man? To love one another or to be free? Dear Scorpio, in the coming week, you're likely going to have to decide. I hope you pick the right choice <laughs> as well as the right freaking person oh this scorpio be blessed <laughs> peace